the home run record in Major League Baseball is the one number that everybody knows from any sport. It's the only number that anybody knows for any record. The home runs always define the game. I think to put the home run record in perspective, I think you have to understand really what the home run means. That's always been the benchmark for the titans of the game. For any baseball fan, you know, big numbers are, are eye-catching and there's nothing bigger than a home run. There was magnitude with Babe Ruth and that number 60 and Roger Maris with 61. The Roger Maris' single season home run record was one of those untouchable records that you thought would never see broken. Well, the single season home run record, you know, in terms of breaking that record, you're talking about the 98 season with Sosa and McGuire, it brought back baseball. Very different paths that Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa took because really from minute one, McGuire was a home run hitter. He rolled out of bed and he hit bombs. He had obviously the Southern California tall, kind of Paul Bunyanite-like character, physically strong in Mark McGuire. And then you had Sammy Sosa who came from the Dominican Republic, had this bundle of energy, was really a personable guy. The 94 season when Commissioner called off the World Series and then the subsequent strike of the players the following year really turned off a lot of core baseball fans. And a lot of fans said, I'm not going to go to a baseball game anymore. Attendance in 95 was brutal. Fans who came to the games were putting bags over their faces. They were screaming and yelling and throwing stacks of money at players. I think for a while, people just kind of became disenchanted. You know, baseball is all about money. It's not about love of the game. I always say that the Sosa McGuire deal saved baseball. It brought a lot of fans who weren't interested in baseball anymore back to the game. And I think the McGuire Sosa race really piqued their interest to where they were saying, you know what, I'll give it another chance. 98, the attendance really boomed across Major League Baseball. Some thought the ball itself was juiced and that's why more and more people were coming to the ballpark. But home run numbers were just skyrocketing. In June, McGuire had 37 home runs, Sosa had 33. Griffey was involved in the, in the mix as well with that home run race. But they were on a pace where it was clear it was going to be broken. When Sosa and McGuire went on this tear, they were great for the game because they were fun. They really were like cartoon figures, like supermen with these bulging biceps, and they just sucked us in. Everybody was talking about it. The home run chase was leading the nightly news. There were all these cameras and hangers on that were just on every swing. People wanted to see how far these baseballs would go. If you weren't playing against these guys, after your game, you would go in and watch TV to see what they do tonight. And you sit there and you're like, wow, these guys may do it. Somebody's going to do it this year. Mark McGuire had 60 home runs going into that first game of the two-game series against the Cubs. It was in St. Louis. That was September 7th. He hit 61 off Mike Morgan, and then 62 came on September 8th, his shortest home run of the year. Fourth inning, first pitch off Steve Traxel, that laser to left field, so un-Mark McGuire-like. When McGuire tied it and then said it, just to see the outpouring of love that it was in St. Louis, McGuire's son was there. There was just a, a very happy family sense. Roger Maris's family in the front row, and McGuire comes over and embraces the family. It was just, it was heartfelt. 62 home runs, the record that had stood for 37 years. And that was the number in all of sports, was 61. And then when Sosa broke the record as well, it came down to the point where it was fun getting to 62. Now let's see who ends up with this thing. Nobody really remembers that they were tied at 66 later in September. When the thought was McGuire broke the record and just went on to hit 70, don't forget Sammy ended up with 66. 70 was just so nice and even. And there's, a, there's an interstate that runs right through St. Louis at 70. I mean, it's perfect. While the home run race of 98 saved the game, brought people back, it, it ruined baseball. You don't trust anything you see. I think as we find out more information about that season, the parties that were involved were taking performance enhancing drugs, I do think it takes away from them. I think the, the initial reaction a lot of people had, and certainly people in the media like me, is that we were duped. The pursuit was so pure. We all thought it was anyway, and it turns out we, we didn't know what we thought we knew. 
in front of Congress, they're asked the question, have you used performance enhancing drugs? And McGuire skirted the question. He really said, I'm not here to talk about the past. And Sammy Sosa, at the time, pretended he didn't understand the question. Later, he admitted that he took it, but he did it unknowingly. And then McGuire, more recently, admitted to it. Looking back on it, I don't think steroids impacted the chase because both guys were on it. But at the same time, when you look at the entire era, that's what it's defined by. It brought us back, but it's made us forever skeptical. I don't think we'll ever be taken on that ride again. That complete, unfiltered, youthful ride that is really what baseball is all about. <laughs>